In this lesson, you will learn to subtract across zeros. Zeros can be a little tricky, but I'll show you how to go about that. So we have 50, we're gonna subtract 18 from it, and we know we can do that, but we're going to start with a zero minus eight. And we know if we have zero, we can't take eight away from it, so we need to borrow. We're gonna borrow from the five, becomes four, and now we have 10. So 10 minus eight is two, and four minus one is three. That one wasn't too bad. Let's try another one. Six minus eight. Well, I need some help there. I need to borrow, but there's nothing to borrow from here because that's zero. So I'm actually going to go all the way to the hundreds to borrow. So I'm gonna borrow from the hundreds, that becomes three. And this now becomes 10, okay? but I still cannot take eight away from six, so I need to still borrow. Now I have something to borrow from. I'm gonna borrow from the 10 and it becomes nine, and this becomes 16. So now I can do 16 minus eight is eight, nine minus two is seven, and three minus one is two. So we, I had to actually go all the way to the hundreds to borrow. In our next one, we have five minus seven here. I can't do that and I don't have anything to borrow here or here, so I'm gonna have to go all the way to the thousands to borrow, to regroup. That four becomes three and now this is 10. But I still don't have anything to borrow here, so I'm gonna borrow from this 10, that becomes nine, and now this becomes 10. I still need something here, so I'm going to now borrow from this 10 it becomes nine, and this five becomes 15. So now I have 15, subtract seven is eight. Nine subtract five is four. Nine subtract one is eight, and three subtract one is two. We get an answer of 2,848. So borrowing across the zeros is a little tricky, but you can do it. That's the end of the lesson on subtracting across zeros.